Kevin, there's one other aspect that I didn't ask you about was like when you finish a report or an evaluation, what, what is the process after that to actually deliver this to the customer? Yeah, so once we're done with our evaluation, um, it's typically a series of uh, large maps, um, large format maps, say like uh, four feet by six foot kind of maps. Um, we put them up on a wall in a presentation room. Um, and then we do an internal presentation to our executive management team um, and also to outside investors that we maybe want to get get in on a, on a, a particular deal. Um, so in that process, it's um, I'm standing up and then kind of arm waving and pointing to this and pointing to that. Some of it's um, we have a PowerPoint slide deck going also. So sometimes I'm standing in front of a screen often in front of printed maps and kind of going back and forth. And is this all solo work or is there a team of people you're working with doing this? Um, well, I had one report at the time who was the uh, RTIS Pro um, uh, professional and she would actually do the final prints of the maps. Um, back before RTIS Pro, I would be printing my own maps out of geographics, but mm -hmm. now with our GS Pro is a much more powerful tool and, and, uh, and she was great at making maps. So. Gotcha. so she'd create maps based on your direction and then you'd go present all this. Yes, exactly. Gotcha. And it would be a combination of, uh, as the geologic team, we kind of put everything, to, we make the maps, so we bring everything in. We bring the, the um, engineering data in. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we make what are called bubble maps. So you put big bubbles of different colors for really good wells or really bad wells. Um, and you then put geologic features on the map and you try to hopefully in the end of the day tie well production to the geology and if there's ever a bad well you always have a reason why it was a bad well if it's a really good well you have you know the reason why it was a really good well so a lot of my work comes to that and then once we get those kind of answers then we make the maps that combines all of the data and then also land data so we'll show like what is the land position right um, and you know, inland positions, people say they have this, but really they don't have something. So we go into the weeds of that and, gotcha. and figure that out and get on a map. So there's a lot of details to include in all of this evaluation. Yes. To, to, yeah. yeah. And as far as the, the presentation and slide decks of that, of the, the mapping of it, then that's, that's the geology responsibility. Gotcha.